Hi everyone, welcome to NPA Teaching. Today we are going to discuss about the equations. An equation is a statement that asserts the equality between two expressions. Or it is a statement that two expressions are equal. For example, the expression 5 plus 3 is equal to 6 plus 2 because they both equals to 8. So we can write the following equations that is 5 plus 3 is equal to 6 plus 2. Some other examples are 2x is equal to 6, 3x plus 5y is equal to 10 are examples of an equation. Now we are going to discuss some of the types of equations. Although there are number of types of equations, here we are discussing two types that is linear equation and quadratic equation. First one is the linear equation. An equation in which all variables are raised to the first power is known as linear equation. That is, these are the first degree equations as it has the highest exponent of variable as 1. There are many ways of writing linear equations, but they usually have constants in the form of a c or 2 or any values and must have simple variables like x and y. There are different types of linear equation and the first one is linear equation with one variable that means one unknown variable will be there. Secondly we have linear equation with two variables or two unknowns and thirdly we have linear equation with three unknown variables. A linear equation with one variable is an equation which has a maximum of one variable of order 1. It is of form of ax plus b is equal to 0 where x is the variable, a and b are two integer and a is the coefficient of variable x and it has only one solution. For example, 2x is equal to 6 and x minus 3 is equal to 2. These are the linear equation having a single variable in it and how to solve this linear equation with one variable. For solving an equation having only one variable then first using LCM clear the fraction if any. Then simplify both side of the equation then isolate the variable then verify your answer. So here 2x is equal to 6. Of course by isolating variable x here we will get 6 by 2 which is equal to 3 and similarly the example second that is x minus 3 is equal to 2 so by isolating minus 3 will go to the right hand side of the equation will become plus 3 so x is equal to 2 plus 3 which is equal to 5 so this is the equation with one variable where the power of the variable is equal to 1 and exists only one variable in it. So this is the linear equation with one variable. The linear equation with two variable is a relationship between two unknown values is shown by an equation. So that is a set of values for two unknown variables satisfy equality statement. For example, ax plus by is equal to p. So here x and y are the two variable and a and b are the non-zero coefficients and p is the constant. If we have two linear equations with same variable are called the system of equation and the equations in the system are called simultaneous equation. That is a set of linear equation in which there are same number of equation and unknowns is called simultaneous equation. In this case, we have two variables and two equations are called, then we have a system of linear equation with two variables. So we have an example here that is 4x plus 3y is equal to 11 and 2x plus y is equal to 5. So we have a two equation with the two unknown variable that is x and y and the power of x and y is equal to 1. So that's why it is a linear equation with two variable x and y. Similarly, we have a linear equation with three variable is a relationship between three unknown 
values of a variable is shown by an equation. That is a set of values for three unknown satisfy the equality statement. For example, x plus 3y minus z is equal to 4. So here x, y, z are the three unknown variable. So this is the linear equation because the power of x, y, z is equal to 1. If we have three linear equation with same variables are called system of equation and these equations are simultaneous linear equation or system of linear equation with three variable. That is a set of linear equation in which there are same number of equation and unknowns are called a simultaneous equation with the three variables. So we here we have a three variable and three equations are here. So here the three variables are x, y and z and the power of these three variables are equal to 1. That's why it is a linear equation. And we have th three equations are here that is 3x plus 3y minus z is equal to 4. 2x plus y plus 2z is equal to 10 and thirdly 3x minus y plus z is equal to 4. So we have a three variable and three equations are here. So this is the system of linear equation with three unknown variables. Now we have the another type of equation which is known as quadratic equation. That is a polynomial equation in which the highest power of unknown is equal to 2. Then we can say that it is a quadratic equation. A second degree equation in the unknowns is the another name for a quadratic equation. The general or standard form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So here a, b, c are the constants and a is not equal to 0. So a complete quadratic equation contains the term with non-zero coefficient of second and first power of the unknown. Now we have a pure or incomplete quadratic equation. That is if in the equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where b is equal to 0. Then the equation become ax square plus c is equal to 0. This is called a pure quadratic equation. So a pure or incomplete quadratic equation is one in which first degree term has a zero coefficient. So it is ax square plus c is equal to zero. I hope you are clear about the concept of linear equation and the quadratic equation and how to solve the linear equation with one variable, two variable, three variable and the quadratic equation will be discussed in the upcoming videos. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.